<laughs> Welcome to the vlog. It's so snowy out, huh? <laughs> We're having a snowy adventure walk. Oh, but he loves the snow, you guys. Literally loves playing in the snow. This is so fun. We are such happy campers. Are you eating dirt? Are you? Like, we are really bundled. Mittens, hat, everything. I couldn't even use a scarf. It is so cold. Oh, like, look at it. We're having so much fun. <laughs> you guys know the TikTok that's like, happy, happy dog. That's what I feel like Brody is right now. Happy, happy, happy dog. No ice. Leave the dirty ice. Thank you. <laughs> playing in the snow oh my gosh she's so tired okay well you nap brody i'm gonna head to the gym i'm gonna show you guys my outfit if you guys saw the other day in my vlog yes i vlogged i went shopping at athleta i was like going ham shout out grace by the way who worked at athleta she was a subscriber of mine and she was so sweet we had so much fun it felt like i was shopping with a girlfriend and she was like giving me all the racks i'm like what do we think about this like does this look good like is this the right size it was very very helpful so love you grace at athleta but i want to show you guys so these are the elation 7 8 tight she was telling me how these are like very iconic from Athleta, bestseller, and I can understand why they're so soft and comfy. If this helps you guys, I believe I got a small, size small, in the bottom and the top, and then this is that same really soft material, but it's called the Conscious Crop, but yeah, I think it's that same like elation material. Here, let me set you guys down, maybe easier to see. Oh yeah, this is better. I can already tell with the lighting. I feel like when I try to show my outfit in the mirror, it's always backlit with the mirrors, so this you can like see better. I mean, black is like kind of hard to see the details anyway the material but I'm telling you it's so stretchy and soft I'm just gonna do a little walking uphill like walking on incline on the treadmill some abs something like that so more like low impact which I feel like is so good for these oh you guys you need this set okay listen up you've zoned out just get this you're welcome. It's so good. And let me show you the two other things I got at Athleta. One of them I wore yesterday, like not even as a workout outfit, just as like a real outfit. Let me show you. Okay, this is the top I was talking about, you guys. It's obviously a turtleneck top long sleeve, but it's so cool because you could obviously layer it when you're walking outside in the winter, getting some movement in, running outside. It's like a stretchy, soft material. But also, you can just wear it with like normal everyday clothes. Like I wore it with this, jeans, booties a jacket you know what i mean like it's just so good and it's so soft and stretchy if you've been looking for good basic like turtleneck is that what that's called when it goes up to there i'm just obsessed it's kind of like a brownish blackish color i would say and then these pants here let me show you these in the mirror also listen up if you've been like gretchen i wanted like flare leggings yoga pants whatever you call them these are them listen up these are the elation flare pants you guys that same really soft stretchy material but in the flare pants and grace was giving me the t she's giving me the inside scoop she's like oh my gosh these are back in stock like snatch them up quick yes they sell out pretty quick and i can understand why these are incredible so if these are in stock as i'm posting this video take advantage people also as i'm posting this around this time january 20th through january 23rd i know they're having a 20 percent off site-wide sale athleta is amazing you guys they are so size inclusive they have sizes from extra extra small to 3xl which is amazing so all these pieces i just showed you guys i'll have link down below again for reference i believe i got a small in each piece and now i'm gonna put on my original outfit and we're gonna head to the gym
clean now. You guys saw my little workout moment. I made the yummiest smoothie after. I just loaded it up with like lots of fruit, like blueberries. I've been loving blueberries and almond butter. In a smoothie. I did like protein powder, green powder, like all this stuff, and it was so good with like granola on top. It's been my favorite thing recently. But I was also gonna tell you, you could probably tell maybe a little bit my workout clips. My camera was like dying the battery when I was trying to film. I got most of my like stretching, and I got like one second of me doing my little app workout. So sorry about that. But I don't know if you could tell in that moment, my hair looked like this. It was like damp in a bun because I decided I was gonna kill two birds with one stone, and I actually did. A, like hair mask in my hair while I went to the gym <laughs> it was a little dumb because I feel like by the end of me like walking on the treadmill like I was sweating and I felt like it was like dripping onto my neck and it was like yeah so maybe like not my best idea but now I'm happy I did it because then it was like soaking in my hair while I was working out anyway I wanted to show you I use the Olaplex number three hair perfecter I have like a drop left if you can tell I've gone through like 20 of these bottles because they're so little and I have a lot of hair so I feel like I use like half the bottle or like a third of the bottle every time I use it But in order what I wanted to show you I actually heard that their number zero intensive bond building hair treatment is what really like strengthens your hair Basically, it's supposed to just like bond your damaged hair and I don't know I feel like it's good for like damaged bleached hair like mine. So I've been trying to be better with this Reli use it religiously and yeah so use this in the beginning let it sink in for like 10 minutes i don't know why it's so great it's literally like the consistency of water but for some reason using that and then the number three after is supposed to be really good then you wash condition all the things so right now we are going to do a little face mask summer fridays r and r glow mask i just like opened my little drawer of masks and picked one so here we go i feel like i'm looking <laughs> A little brittle right now sorry oh my goodness i can't wait to just be feeling like the best version of myself soon because this vlog is turning into a self-care vlog i hope that's okay with you all i've just been feeling like very overwhelmed and so like ah with i think traveling and not being here this much oh my gosh look at this consistency it's so cool it's like I feel like whenever i use it it's like beads of like oils and i don't know it just like smells really nice anyway well i put this on i'm gonna tell you guys we are turning this into a self-care vlog but like i was saying i'm feeling like really exhausted from being in boston for such a short amount of time because obviously not being there that long i like barely slept and it was like pretty much a six hour drive there and back and so i'm just like so tired from that today's vlog was maybe going Going to be i think i like said maybe how it's gonna be like really really exciting now it's only a little bit exciting the self-care stuff at home but oh yeah you guys saw my last vlog so you're like in the loop a little bit about how max was sent down for like one day played for the flyers minor league team we had that phantom and then he went back up yesterday and so we thought like oh maybe he would play against the islanders tonight on long island and we've actually seen this game on the schedule for like weeks now and max has played in like every Flyers game for the last like two months so I was getting confident that he would but then right as he made plans is when things change this like looks so funny right now you see how it looks like little pieces of like sand all over his kind of oh I get like the craziest dry in this red patch right there anyway as I was saying yeah so I actually made a plan to see Brooke and Danielle and I was so excited to see them I'm feeling like self-conscious right now with my skin sorry I want to like be in dark like this. Uh, you know what no this is important to show also sides because i'm gonna feel way better when i'm like self-tanned hair is dry like i don't know yeah tan skin but anyway what i'm trying to say spit it out gretchen is that i made plans with brooke and danielle to go to the islanders game with them tonight and i was so excited to see them it was gonna be me them and their boyfriends and i like could not wait and then when max got sent down i'm like you've got to be kidding me like right before we had this plan and then he went back up yesterday so we were like oh my gosh maybe we can go and then it turns out he's not playing because he played two games for Lehigh the past two days in a row. So this would be his third day of playing in a row and they did not want to do that. Anyway, so it was about to be like reunited, me reunited with Brooke and Danielle and I was like so pumped for it. But now I'm like, you know what? Everything happens for a reason. Maybe this is the world telling me to slow down. Take a self-care moment, finally wash my hair. You know, I like one time a week that I do it. Feel like the best version of myself, get a little workout in, sleep, 
for once, self tan. So we're gonna do all the things. But first I'm gonna let this soak in. Hopefully this like glowy mask. I think it feels very like oily on my skin. I would hope that it's good for my skin being so dry. I just feel like, like what is going on? Like I'm having crazy redness, dry skin, but yeah. Again, I'm sure this is good to show you guys cause life isn't always perfect. And when you see my Instagram photos with my luminous silk foundation on like that's not what my skin actually looks like just washed off my face mask and my skin feels really nice it feels really like soft and that was needed it's like the lighting is not good in here like there's like a shot in my face anyway let's move on since i'm going to self tan let's show you the before can you kind of see oh i feel like this is making me look tan in this lighting but i promise you i'm not like maybe my skin just looks like kind of red yeah i'm quite pale naturally so so what i can say is we are using the loving tan deluxe bronzing mousse in ultra dark love that i'll use darker ultra dark honestly i don't feel like i really know a difference just use it in my little mitt i'll not be showing that since i self tan naked but what i can show you is what i do on my face instead sometimes i'll do like the body self tanner on my face but normally i will do just like the tanning drops and mix it with my moisturizer because i feel like this is like actually made for your face i'm like i feel like body self tanner isn't really like it's probably not as good for your skin or could make you break out or something i don't know so I'm gonna mix it with this moisturizer right here in my hand. I'm on like my last leg of this bottle. Let's see, kinda do a lot. Okay, that might be a little bit much, but that's okay. If you guys haven't used like the tanning drops, this is the Isle of Paradise in the shade Dark. Or if you haven't used, what's the other one I've used? Oh, the Tan Lux ones. I always use the darker ones because I like to get pretty bronzed and then I feel like it will match my body when I like self tan my body. If you haven't used any of the face tanning drops, what I'm trying to say is I feel like they're so, so nice even to use on their own. I know we'll like blend it down like that. You just get like such a nice little natural bronze if you want that to only do like a drop or two i do like four and i do a lot of drops because i like to very tan but the number one thing about them is you have to really wash your hands well after or you will have like orange palms the next day it's always funny if i'm with my friends and they forget they'll like look it and it looks like they dumped their hands on like paint or something so that's like the number one thing for that but yeah that is like gradual and will develop and i'll notice it in the morning but then my like mousse body self tanner you will see right away it does develop and get darker but you notice it right away as well sorry i'm naked but i just want you to see that this is the color of the self tanner when you first put it on <laughs> this feels very wrong vlogging naked so i'm gonna go you guys will see it like fully developed i'll make sure i show you in the morning i'm gonna go put on black flowy clothes so that this doesn't like get on anything even though it dries pretty quick i have like only positive things to say about the self tanner i love it so much i love the way it smells it's nice and bronzy and dark and it like barely transfers on anything ever unless i was like rubbing my body all over that white towel you know brody we've been having such a chill afternoon evening haven't we basically i've just been chilling in my black outfit like i told you guys i always try to do all black when i'm letting the tanner develop i don't know can even tell it's like dark out here so just put on my oh these are my new black yoga pants i was showing you guys the athleta ones they're literally so cozy and just a big black t-shirt and look at what just came i was feeling extra lazy like i did not want to move at all and because it's snowy and cold out i was just like yeah no and i ordered a poke bowl for delivery so it just came this is like making my night i'm so excited i won't explain everything that's in here because you can just see what i get right here that's like literally what i get every single time from my favorite place here called poke kai and it's so good actually do i normally get crispy any i don't know if i no normally get that that looks different maybe i just normally get scallions i don't know but i'm so excited oh the corn makes it so yummy the avocado oh can't wait you gonna help me do my hair you guys i am so so beyond stuffed from that poke bowl i ate it so quick and i'm like oh <laughs> But it is so good. Okay, I would say my hair is like, does anyone else freaking shed? Like all I ever notice, I barely wear black because there's always like a little piece of blonde hair over it. All over it. And little golden hair too from my little golden man. Can you see him? Does it look like I'm crazy? I think nobody. Anyway, I would say my hair is like 99% dry. And I'm going to attempt to just kind of like smooth it out because here, 
Look what we're working with, people. Oh my gosh, I feel like I haven't really looked at like my roots in a while and I keep just assuming that I'm like still really brunette. And I'm so blonde after getting them touched up while I was in Boston. Wow, I'm a happy camper. I like forgot how blonde it looks because it's just been in like a dirty pony for like a day or two. Anyway, yes, this is what I wanted to show you. I feel like it gets puffy and just kind of like eh, eh, as it dries. Does anyone else? Like I have naturally straight hair, you can tell. But as it dries, it just dries like not nice. So I'm gonna attempt to use this little attachment with the air wrap, but I think all it does is like smooths and straightens and stuff. Normally I would just use my Revlon blow dryer brush because I'm used to it. I feel like it's bigger, so it's like faster and quicker and easier and yeah. But I'm gonna try to give this a try. And I already talked lots of crap about it in my worst purchases of last year video. Because it's so dang expensive and girls just fall out of my hair. If you're new, that's like the main reason. Yeah, and the Revlon blow dryer dryers maybe like a tenth of the price or less and like works better for me but since i posted that video i've gotten a million dms from you guys being like hey just send your air out my way can i please buy it from you it's sold out everywhere which i'm like oh my gosh it feels so bad because i actually remember last year maybe like a year ago i had the hardest time finding this finally it like came in stock in a sephora store near me but yeah so i'm really sorry if you're like struggling to find one and just because i feel like it doesn't work that well in my hair for curls at least doesn't mean that it won't for years like i feel like it works for so many people so well but i think my hair is naturally so straight and just kind of will like especially when it's really clean which like your hair is supposed to be kind of wet when you use air wrap so it's like clean wet hair i feel like it just like my hair is like slippery like it'll just slip out of the curls and it's like long and like heavy so we'll just like weigh it down and it doesn't stay well. anyway but yeah i feel like my friend's hair that's shorter it works a lot better i'm sure if my hair was like up here it would stay better anyway all of that is to say i'm gonna try this out i feel like i've used it like once before so here we go okay first side done it only took like two or three minutes i think but i already feel like <laughs> No, I'm terrible. I think I'm just used to the Revlon one too. So that's why I'm going to say that I prefer that. Because I'm just used to the way it works and how to move it. Like I felt like I just wasn't used to it. Like I kept turning it off by accident. And I feel like it was harder to get like kind of volume how I do with the other one. Because you're not like wrapping your hair all the way around it. Because the bristles are only on one side. Revlon is on both. I don't know. But it definitely did a great job at like smoothing, straightening. You can see this side is just like puffy kind of like kinky i mean that's really why i use it to just get out all the kinks and little divots and weirdness so that it's just like smooth but yeah i feel like my rebel in one does that as well and it's like again a fraction of the price but anyway i still like it i don't know i feel like i'm also quicker with Revlon, but maybe just because i'm used to it anyway here we go Okay, here we are. Huh. I mean, my hair is straight. It's great. Why do I feel like over here it was doing something weird to the ends of my hair? They feel very, like, fried. <laughs> maybe that's just how my hair is. Did you do that? <laughs> okay, maybe we just need a little hair oil or something. It feels, like, not smooth. It feels like... Huh, okay. Well, feel that way over here? I don't think so. I feel like the end of just one little piece over here was weird. Anyway very smooth it's very straight great i just yeah i don't really know how to get like volume in my hair like i feel like i would i was able to with the revlon but we're all great see this is what i was talking about earlier when i was like sitting here all insecure about my skin it's the same skin probably like a little less redness because i it was right after the shower and i was like rubbing it and stuff so i feel like it was like red but this is just the moment i was waiting for when because i feel fine without makeup i mean this isn't really helping things but just like when i have like a little bit of tanner situation on and if my hair is done and i have no makeup i will always like feel better than like wet hair no makeup i don't know does anyone else agree with me also because i have like freshly blonde hair but Anyway, we're going on year like three of me needing to see a freaking dermatologist about this because it's really bad in the summer with a lot of sun exposure. It's really bad in the winter when it's very dry. And then in like the spring fall, I'm like, oh no, I'm fine. It like went away. And it's basically like dry, really dry skin that will like crack and almost like bleed it. Oh, this is like 
too much. I know I've talked about it a lot though and everyone tells me it's like eczema or uh, I forget the other things that people think it is. Anyway, I know I just like need a cream or something for the dermatologist, but I'm too lazy to go. And it like <laughs> flares up and then will like kind of go away. So then I'm like, oh, it's fine. Anyway. Okay, now for our next part of self-care, Brody, we're going to clean. I know that doesn't sound very fun. I know. I know. However, <laughs> I always feel so much better if I like vacuum, tidy, tackle the chair in here. That's always, can you see it? That's like never at yep growing with like, oh my god, even my dresser is filled with stuff. <laughs> like clothes and stuff I have to put away. Does anyone else have that chair that just like accumulates everything? <sighs> made tea you guys let's pop this open so it's not whistling anymore i'm gonna do the puka cleanse i haven't tried this one before if i'm being really honest with you guys i never finished my advent calendar from december so i'm still going through it but it's still really fun like trying out new ones i haven't tried before like i've never tried this one i don't think i like fennel but i really like peppermint so we'll give it a go Ooh, it's like green. I feel like I've never had any of their teas come out green before. I guess we'll see as it steeps. I can't believe how hot this still is even after putting an ice cube in it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna burn my tongue. But, I mean, honestly, I feel like I can't really taste it because it's so hot. But so far, so good. I feel like it's a simple one. Yeah, it's way too hot. I think I need another ice cube. Good with me though. I just want to get in bed. <laughs> so does this guy. And read my book, you guys. Whenever I still talk about reading this, everyone's like, oh my gosh, I'm having deja vu. I feel like I said this in my last vlog too. But I understand how it can be such like a binge read, but I'm making my way through. Time literally passes so quick when I'm reading it. Like I'll just suddenly be like 50 pages ahead and then it'll be like 1 a.m. and I'm like, oh my God, I need to go to bed. So yeah, I want to avoid that. But I'll read like a little bit each night until I finish. So yeah, I want to just get in bed and start doing that and drink my little tea. We're having such a great self-care night, Brody. I'm so proud of us. We literally Really like clean this whole place whipped it in shape we're being the best versions of ourselves hey we got our key we're reading we're gonna start our nighttime routine on my little hatch alarm clock we're doing great but what I was saying is I don't want to turn off this candle sad or not turn it off what's it called oh like blow out the flames except I usually just put the top on anyway it smells so freaking good from anthropology okay let's go cut <sighs> Bed at last, huh, bro? This might not look better, but that's my workout outfit in the morning, so ignore that. And that, like a pile of clothes that I'm trying to make an outfit with, so I'm just leaving it out. And, uh, yeah. I'm tired. How about you, bro? Self-care can be exhausting. <laughs> I just feel like whenever I have a day where I'm like shaving my legs, moisturizing, self-tan, hair, like all the hair things, like hair masks, wash my hair. Oh, I also didn't even say I did purple shampoo, dry my hair, all those things. Like it's really tiring. It's so hard to take care of myself, but sometimes it really does feel that way. And like cleaning and cleaning up after yourself. What a thought. <laughs> But see, it's already 10.59, so I really want to be asleep in the next, like, 30 minutes. I'd love for my ideal bedtime to be, like, 10.30, so, like, an hour earlier. But, yeah, I was just doing a lot of things. I'm obsessed with my alarm clock, you guys. Like, is this what being an adult feels like? I just love it. And I feel like it's 
keeping me on track and making me more productive and making it so that I don't go on my phone before bed suddenly here's the thought I'm like sleepy as I'm going to bed which never happens and it's because I'm reading and not on my phone no blue light like reading just like calms you I feel like before you go to bed it makes you actually sleepy and I feel like I've always heard this but like I'm always like yeah no I'm fine like I don't know I don't need that. I'll just like scroll on Instagram till the second my eyes close. But it's not good, you know? Like if you can do it, that's great. But I can't because my mind is like racing and the blue light on my phone, it just keeps me awake. So yeah, this alarm clock was really the step I needed to take so that I can like plug in my phone far away because I know that like this will get me up and I don't need my phone nearby. And yeah, I also feel like I'm having deja vu. I feel like I was saying this before when I was talking about it, but every single time, I wake up on my own right before it's about to go off so I don't even hear a sound which is so nice like I wake up so peacefully and I think it's because the light on it like it will start to gradually get lighter and lighter like a half an hour before your alarm is gonna go off and I always wake up like two or three minutes before my alarm is gonna go off which I feel like some people wouldn't like because you could have slept like two more but I love it because I feel like normally I'm like jolted awake and like anxiety stress by like the sound of the alarm even though this i have it set up so it's like peaceful flute noises but yeah it's so nice to wake up with like light and not like you know so anyway i love you bff get the best self-care play in the snow fun relaxing at home day we needed this brody to just decompress clean eat one of our most favorite yummiest foods poke bowl like I just needed this day. Woo! A little reset. I'm feeling much better. I'm sorry. Was I smothering you? I'm sorry. Because I just feel like being on the go so much. And just like, yeah, having like never ending plans. Like not taking a day to yourself. I'll just feel like so run down. Maybe no reading. Maybe just bed. I'm sleepy. Thank you guys for joining me. Joining us today. Our co-star, Brody. All right, you guys are probably like, enough. I'm obsessed. <laughs> but, yeah, I have an exciting vlog coming up. It's going to be over the next couple days. You will see. There will be Max again. Yay. I'm happy we're, like, seeing him more recently. What do you say, Brody? Like, he, when he first went up, we, like, weren't seeing him for months because I was just so busy here, like, working and stuff. I couldn't really go there as much. But now we keep visiting him going to the games in Philly when there's home games. I'm gonna go to that tomorrow, but you guys will see in that vlog. This vlog is probably so long, so I'm gonna end it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.